Hey, welcome you all to this new video on Opto Office. In this video, you will learn how we can extract and filter our data on the basis of some parameters like this is category, cadre, media. So on the basis of these parameters, I'm going to short to this side, to the right. We can sort it to the next seat as well. I have already shown you this kind of extraction by two methods, one by helper column method and other by small index function. Here I'm going to tell you how you can extract this with the help of aggregate function. Many a times I have told you how you can generate a sequence of number. I want to generate a sequence of number equal to the number of data here. So I have already told you, you we can do this by row and lock it minus row this one and plus one sorry plus one so here you can see i generated 1 to 20 and this semicolon indicates that this 1 to 20 generation of array is vertical okay we'll press ctrl z and put an apostrophe for it to comment it out so before we move on, I would tell you something about Boolean algorithm. This is a sequence of numbers generated from 1 to 10. Semicolon indi indicates this data is vertical. Now if I divide it by true, false, true, false, what will happen? Now how come this true, false? How have we achieved this true, false? This true, false can be achieved by performing any kind of logical operation or logical test like I'm testing for UR if UR is equal to any of these data in column B. That is, I'm performing a test UR is equal to B5 to B24. So this will return me a string of true and false. So when I divide it, when I divide this total number that is 1 to 20 by this true false, it will give me some value like 1 by true will be equal to 1, 2 by false will be an undefined number or error it will so 4 by true it will give me 4 so in a way whenever I find a match this is returning the positions of those numbers like 1 by 1 the first row 4 by true means 4 so this is returning me the fourth position similarly so this was one condition dealt with so I can take more than one condition also I will show you how you can do that so first of all we will generate a sequence of numbers as I showed you like I will gen I'm going to generate a sequence of number from 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 whatever is the count of this data so I'm going to generate row minus row of the first data and plus 1 see f9 1 to 20 now press ctrl z now as I told you I will divide it some logical test or my logical test is going to be if this UR F4 is equal to this value or this value till the end so what is it returning to me see true false true false control Z control shift enter so what did I do? I divided this sequence of number by true false true false and then what will happen? It will convert to 1 by true is 1 by 1 2 by false means 2 by 0 so this will gen give me a value like this 1 division error then 4 5 like this so by pressing F selecting it and by pressing F9 I will check what values are being returned by this three four five six seven so this was performed on one logical test now I'm increasing the number of tests I will put it inside bracket I want to find a match when my category is UR and my category is production so I'm going for an AND function so I will apply a multiplication sign that is I'm multiplying this condition or this logical test by another logical test which is going to be if production is equal to this one 
at 4. One more. If this media that is AIR is equal to F4 is equal to this media. I am closing it. So now what is it? It is returning me a union of all these conditions when found true or false. See, only it is returning me 12 and 13. That is now I have just now I just want to bring those 12 and 13 like this 12 and 13 or 20 to the first, second, third at these places. Now the function, uh, the aggregate function that I was talking about is so useful that it ignores these division error. In case of a small index, it didn't ignore the, these errors and I had to take care of this. So what I am trying to uh, achieve, I am trying to achieve to bring this 12 to the first position, this 13 to second and so on. So press Ctrl Z. I will use aggregate. aggregate. So there are umpteen functions here. So I will choose. I want to use small function. Is it available? Yep. This is 15th. And when we press comma, it further provides me some options right? like ignore error values. I will select this one. And then comes array. In place of array, I am going to provide you this data. That is this true, false, and division error, and one and everything. And out of this data, I am trying to extract first position, second position, third position. So as we drag down below, or as we move down below, I want my numbers to change from one, two, three, like this. So I will use rows function here. Since I am setting on F5, so I am pressing F5 here, and press. I will log this reference. Another value will be left as relative so that when we drag it down it will change that is the second value will change so my rows number is word so check what this is k this is returning me f9 1 and when we will drag it down it will return me 2 so i will press now control shift enter c and when i drag it when i drag the formula I get to have like something like this 12 13 20 so this kind of particular match has been filtered now I just need to extract this with uh, with index match so for index my array will be f4 and my row number will be what this 12 13 that I have just extracted and my column number will be for on the first occasion 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 so I will use columns function here as we have been using it since A's is so I am setting on F5 F5 lock it and F5 to F5 column is covered so now I will press control shift enter so to get rid of this number error I will use if error function if error if it is an error then I will give you an empty string press control shift enter And that's it so this is how you can achieve this with aggregate function and for reference I am copying this one control C and putting it so for, this is for your reference and also the boolean algebra that I discussed this is how we have dealt with the boolean algorithm so this is one two but divide well so you can take this for a reference all in this video see you in the next video with new content keep watching and sharing